I would like to offer an apology for some of the things that have been going on here tonight. They are not nice things, and they are not right things. And I would like to state guarantorically that we do not want any children that might be here tonight watching this to go home and try out these things for themselves. I am, of course, talking about reading books. <laughs> it is not normal for kids to behave in this fashion. It stunts the brain, wears out the eyes, makes kids ugly, fatty, sweaty, stinky, betty, boring, gaseous, and crucially, it gives them verrucas of the mind. Under no circumstances do we condone such activities, and we do so utterly without reservoirs. Can I just ask a question? How many of you here have ever read a book? Anybody? Anybody? You, sir, what's your name? Bob. Well, Bob, don't take this the wrong way. But bookworm, bookworm, stupid little bookworm, you read books like a worm. Worms read books. You read books. Worms are stupid. You're a swarm. There. Now, Bob will learn from this. Won't stop him from reading, but he'll never put his hand up in a the theater again. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you the pinnacle of our accomplishments as a species. The very reason we bother evolving out of unicorns in the first place. Somewhere on a show, I heard that a picture is worth a thousand words. So Telly, if you bother to take a look, is the equivalent of like lots of books. All I know I learned from Telly, this big beautiful box of facts. If you know a thing already, you can change the channel over just like that. Endless joy and endless laughter Folks living happily ever after All you need to make you wise Is 23 minutes plus advertising Why would we waste our energy Turning the pages one, two, three When we can sit comfortably on our lovely bumpily Watch people talking and singing and doing stuff All I know I learned from telly The bigger the telly, the smarter the man You can tell by my big telly Just how clever of a fella I am Take it away, son! <laughs> Can't learn that from a stupid book! All I know I learned from Teddy What to think and what to buy Now, I was pretty smart already But now I'm really, really smart Very, very smart Endless and, and endless channels, endless chat on endless panels. All you need to fill your muffin without having to really think or nothing. Why would we waste our energy trying to work out Ulysses? When we can sit happily on our lovely backwoods, watch the slightly famous people talk to the really famous people. All I know I learned from telly. The bigger the telly, the smarter the man. You can tell from my big telly. Just how clever the fell I am. Who the dickens is Charles Dickens? Mary Shelley, oh she sounds smelly. Charlotte Bronte, do not want a. Jane Austen, in the compulsion. James Joyce, oh he doesn't sound nice. Ian McEwen, I feel like spewing. William Shakespeare, it's William Shakespeare. Moby Dick, <laughs> hey, easy grandma. <laughs> The smarter the man You can tell by my big telly What a very, very tell I am Oh yeah
trench full of jug of water. And then, no, I won't say anymore. I don't want to ruin it. So on the way, I find a newt. A newt is like a really ugly lizard that lives in water. And then, no, I won't say anymore. I'm going to put the newt into the trench full's jug. It's going to be brilliant.
not a child exactly. Uh, Matilda, are you sure something's not? Miss Kelsey, you want to hear the next part of the story? Story? Did you say story? Did you say? Well, Matilda, what are we waiting for? I'm so clever, 
clever. I'm so very, 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 very clever. I'm so very flamey clever. Oh, what clever fella I am. Come here, you. What the? Wow! Woo! 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 Stop that! Stop that! There's, there's only one man who I do that with. Everyone gather around. I want my family to share in my triumph. Not you, boy. 155 old bangers on my hands. All polished up with the mileage on the clock telling the truth that these cars were, were knackered. What was I to do to make the mileage go back? I couldn't very well drive each one backwards, could I? Backwards. When suddenly I had the most genius idea. I ran into the workshop, grabbed a drill, and using my incredible mind, I attached the drill to the speedometer of the first car, turned it on and whacked it in reverse. Backwards. Yes, boy, backwards. Backwards exactly. A drill's motor whirls backwards thousands of times a second. In a few moments time, I had reduced the mileage of that old rust bucket to practically nothing. I did it on every single car. Backwards. Do stop talking now, that's a good boy. 10 minutes later, the Russians show up. Great big nasty faced apes, expensive suits, dark glasses. I don't know who they thought they were. Russians are nocturnal. I saw it on a program last night. That was badges. It was a program about badges. <laughs> Same thing. So, did it work? my daughter, 
I shall find the rest of my life making it up to you. We shall be together forever. Forgive me, Daddy. I didn't mean to desert you. I didn't want to upset you. I know. Daddy, don't cry. I'll be alright with you by my side. I'm nothing, nothing to fear. I won't and stories and books. That is not teaching. To teach the child, we must first break the child. <laughs> Quiet, you maggots! But nobody was speaking, Miss Punchbowl. Please understand, Miss Honey. When I say quiet, you maggots, you are entirely included in that statement. Where is my jug of water? Oh, I'll get it, Miss Trenchful! Stupid girl. <laughs> Look at you. Flabby. Disgusting. <laughs> Revolting. Revolting, I say! I think it's time I toughen you up with a bit of fizz <laughs> This school of late has started reeking. <coughs> Quiet, Maggie, while I'm speaking! Reeking with the most disturbing scent. Only the finest nostrils smell it. I know it all too well. It is the odor of rebellion and the bouquet of dissent. <coughs> you may bet your witches this headmistress finds this foul or deferous nostril. Holy, olfactorily insulting. And so to stop the stench spread, I find a session of physette. Sorts the merely rank from the revolting. The smell of rebellion 
comes out in the sweat. And if the Z'll get you sweating, and it won't be long before you smell the palm of aiding and abetting. A bit of the Z will tell us who has a head full of rebellious thoughts. Hurt, hurt, just like a rotten egg flows to the top of a bucket of water. The smell of rebellion. One, two, three, four. Of insubordination. I can it anymore. One, two, three, four. Of mutiny in action. It's all the worms to turn you with the scrape off the dirt and rip it from the mud. Position two. Before the weed starts to grow, we must rip it to the bud and rip it from the dirt. The stench of rebellion. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The one four. on our key and protest. Of the one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Ten, two, three, four. Three new best in protest. Miss, miss, please. Once we exercise these demons, they shall be too pooped for scheming. Some level time discipline should stop the rod from setting in. All right, let's step it up. Double time. Two, three, four. Discipline, discipline for children who are listening for minutes, who are fidgeting and whispering and whispering. They're nattering and chattering, they're chattering and twittering. Be tempered with the stuttering of discipline. We must begin insisting on participation and discipline. Persistently persistent, this anarchistic pitching make these minutes you are frittering on pattering. What are the ones that the suggest that this is it? The simple reason that they're in the jubilee is missing me. The missing me and tissue is an issue. The ethics there is no mystery to master in the art of passing the tissue. The discipline, discipline, discipline! It's not a rebellion, the stench of repose. The bring of being, you mess it, body. The ring of resistance, the part of the saints. The bug of morals by the rotting. Oh, 
the new into the trench pole. Quiet! I don't think this is teaching at all. I think it's just cruelty. That is because, Miss Honey, you are pathetic. You are wet. You are weak. <clears throat> you are, in fact, a sniveling little. <coughs> what? what is it? Oh, it's disgusting! The snake! Watch out, Miss General! It's going to bite! I bet it's poisonous. Quiet up, soldier, please!
What is it? 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 What is it?